how to connect Etsy and Gelato. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can connect your Gelato which is a POD platform and to your Etsy store. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. Etsy is a store and a marketplace and for the print on demand you have a new source within Etsy itself and for that we need another provider or a source to make our uh, products or the uh, POD products such as these t-shirts, hats, uh, phone cases and cups or mugs. Uh, here we are going to use Gelato. You have simply to sign in or sign up for free within Gelato. If you have an account simply click on sign in. I uh, Like in my case I have a account already so here we have it now we are going to sign in also in our Etsy store this is the account of Etsy now we have the gelato simply we are going to see here the stores click on store and here we have the Etsy as you can see it is connected if you want to uh, see the uh, integrations you simply are going to click on stores then we have here the direct integration Go ahead and click on Etsy and it will open up a dashboard within Gelato to link your Etsy account. After you have set and connected or signed in to your account within Etsy, you are going to see here the status such as active. Now, if you want to add a store or add a product to the store, simply click on add product. Here we have the option to multiple products or single products. Let's go ahead with the single products. Now we have the product catalog within Gelato. You can go ahead and put the product catalog or the templates that you have. For example, you can go ahead and create your own template or have a uh, template from the Gelato marketplace. I'm going to use, for example, women's clothing. Now we have a lot of types or a lot of categories. You can go ahead and choose whatever you want. For example, let's say that I'm going to the t-shirts. Here with the with t-shirts, the we have a subcategories. We have a lot of models and we have a lot of styles. Go ahead and select your uh, style of the choice. For example, premium woman crew neck. I'm going to use that. Simply, we are going to click on a design. Here we have the design. As you can see, we have the mock-up. We have the front the back, the inner neck, outer neck, left sleeve, right sleeve. Simply go ahead and add, for example, this one. This is a logo that I have made using Canva. You can go ahead and simply click to file or files, click on choose file. And here we have the options. I'm going to this uh, section, which is named my device. Go ahead and select any option that you have. For example, a logo or a mock-up like that. I have this mock-up. Let's go ahead and delete the uh, uh, previous one. I'm going to delete that and add only the copy. And let's copy here. Now we have the layers. You can put some layers. You can put some text. So you can personalize it. You can add some shapes. You can add uh, some layouts and etc. Now for the inner neck, I'm also going to add a file, which is uh, this one. You can go ahead and make it bigger, for example, like that. Here we have it and outer neck is it is not uh, very necessary. I'm going to add it right there also and here we have it. This is better. Now when you finish here the design you are simply going to click on continue to mockups. Here it will save the work that you've made and simply we are going to choose the mockups right there. Here we have the product, or as you can see here, we have the select mockup. You are going to select the mockups that you are going to let the visitors see on your store, like that. You are going to continue to details, you can download those mockups. Now, for the settings, you can add some uh, tags, for example, our digital, blue, summer, like that. These are the tags. You can show the products to store visitors. You will be charged 0.2 euro for making this product visible in your store on Etsy store. And here we have the display with free shipping on the storefront. You can put a 
uh, free shipping and now when you finish everything from the title you have for example here I'm going to delete that also delete this and let this simple description you are simply going to wait for the saving to finish click on continue to prices and here we have the last part include shipping cost in profit calculation you can include it here we have the cost we have the um, the uh, as you can see the currency I'm going to use for example the United States for right here and here we have the type of amount we have the set profit margin to you you can go ahead and update those and here we have the retail price you can see here the shipping cost the estimated profit the products cost right here it is the retail price you can go ahead and put the uh, profit and set everything right there when you finish this click simply on continue here we have the preview or the review of the product click on publish and the publish or the publishing will be um, in the uh, way now we have the product we are waiting for it to be published in the meanwhile we are going to see it on Etsy click on on your profile right there here I'm going to click on my store again and in few seconds it will be published now right here I'm going to see here it is still uh, publishing so we are going to see right there here we have the uh, choices so we are going to it will make the changement right there now let's say that we have added the product right here this product is not available no it is not a problem you can go ahead and select another product if you want let's say that we are going to add gelato as a partner so in this case you have to modify something on your store let's go ahead to the product or the Etsy and now we are going to the shop manager when you go to the store manager you will see here the product now we have it right there it is placed on the stock of our shop click on it and you will see here the product now I am simply going right there and see here we have the title the mockups that are uploaded the thumbnail description and personalization right here I am simply going to drop down a little bit until I see right there we are going to put not the uh, shipping and also we are going to see right there from here we have the about and as you can see in the shipping it is mentioned that it is a product from gelato this is a set already so the partnership is already made now I will let you see how we can do that manually you are going to your shop or your store click on add a listing then we are going to select the item and within that item here we have it for example a member another company or person or I did a finished product when it was made recently you can put it right there uh, like that and here we have the most important part production partner for this listing click on add production partner here we have to name gelato like that simply about the uh, partner uh, production I'm going to put here the name and some description and the city or right here the location we have to put the address of gelato now we have here the why are you working with this partner you are going to uh, answer these questions what is the role in this uh, process I am for example I design myself what is this partner role in the production make component for example create finished product that alter customize or do everything for me you click on save and you will proceed to the next steps that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next